are seeing protests uh, close to the house of uh, Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad's house. These protests are being held by the Youth Congress, led by the Youth Congress President Amrinder Singh Raja Brar. And of course, uh, this protest is because of the two stamps that have been withdrawn by the Department of Post, which of course uh, reports to uh, the Communications Minister, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. These two stamps, particularly sensitive for the Congress Party, because they bore the image of their former Prime Ministers, Rajiv Gandhi and Indra Gandhi. Of course, Ravi Shankar Prasad yesterday defended the decision, but the protests are on nonetheless. We've got Sneha joining us from the spot with more. Uh, what exactly is the point of these protests? Because as far as the government is concerned, Sneha, there is going to be no rollback on that decision. Exactly. In fact, the government has already said that there is no singling out of any particular leader or any particular family. In fact, this is completely based on a theme and the theme for this year has changed and that's the only reason why uh, these stamps have been done away with it and the government also has said that uh, the, the stamps of uh, Pandit Nehru has not been done away with so the Congress really can't uh, say that we're trying to dilute the legacy of the Nehru Gandhi family but the Congress are uh, not really buying their argument they continue to say that there is a pattern to all of this uh, first uh, a changing name of key schemes that were actually uh, previously carrying the names of former Prime Ministers Rajiv Gandhi and Indra Gandhi then trying to change the nature of uh, various institutions, uh, for example, the Nehru Museum. Uh, and then, of course, the stamp issue. Now, why are they doing away with these stamps? Uh, in fact, the Congress also says there are many other countries that have honored the memory of uh, Rajiv Gandhi and Indra Gandhi, for example, Germany, Bangladesh, which has stamps in the name of these leaders. Why is India doing away with it? If this is not political vendetta of the worst kind, then what is? But it's interesting that earlier this was a similar controversy that was raised, Sneha, about the Nehru Memorial, where the Congress alleged that the Nehru legacy was being attacked. But in this particular case, you have Pandit Nehru's stamp not being withdrawn by the government. How does the Congress reconcile uh, the difference in its objections in these two cases? Well, the Congress says that even in the first case, uh, even if there were 39 institutions in totality, which the government says, the cultural ministry, the tourism ministry has already said that, uh, that there are 39 institutions that are going to undergo a revamp. It is just not one institution. Well, the Congress says you should not be touching the Nehru Museum because this is about Nehru's legacy and one shouldn't be tampering with that. Uh, and that's the reason why they objected to it. Even in the case of stamps, like I said, they're not buying the argument that Nehru's stamp has not been touched. Uh, Pandit Nehru's stamp is going to be continued. It is only Indra Gandhi and Rajiv Gandhi's stamp. Uh, that are being done away with uh, for the moment. The Congress says that there is a pattern to all of this in the tent being made to dilute the legacy of uh, the Nehru Gandhi family, the work done by both the Prime Ministers. Uh, both of them were Prime Ministers uh, collectively for 21 long years. The Congress says they were leaders of the country, they were Prime Ministers of the country and not just Congress leaders. And it is unfair uh, to try and erase the memory and the legacy खिलाफ आज यूथ कांग्रेस के कार्यकर्ता रवि शंकर प्रसाद के घर पर धरना और मैं समझता हूं जब तक उनके नाम वापस नहीं ले आए जाएंगे यूथ कांग्रेस इस लड़ाई को इसी तरीके से लड़ती रहेगी बिल्कुल जारी रहेगा और जब तक ये नाम दोबारा से उस सूची में नहीं आते जब तक यूथ कांग्रेस इसी तरीके से संघर्ष करती रहेगी